I think young people can bring very unique perspectives into doing business and solving problems. So what it means to me to be Kiwi is to come from a small community of people who act locally but think globally. It's the theory behind the idea of looking at something and doing it totally different. Entrepreneurs and innovators are the ones who push the boundaries and push us forwards. Entrepreneurs in general share the idea that the world is not fixed, but that we can actually have a role in changing it and improving it. First of all, let's figure out what needs to be changed. Let's answer the why. I care because I do, and I always have. Because if you can, you know, create impact and, and do positive things while being financially sustainable, I don't see a reason why not to do it. I think some of the most valuable incubators have actually been co-working spaces. We're not so much about the individual successes or pursuits. We will help each other out along the way. We're also seeing a lot of partnerships amongst Māori organisations, which is essentially meaning that we can identify really good social innovations in one part of the country and share those between regions. I think the best thing I can do is just to try new ideas and let people know what I've found works and, and what doesn't, so they can iterate on top of my iterations. I'm fortunate to not be bogged down by the mentality of this is the way it's always been done, so this is the way it has to be done going forward. Having something to work on that you truly believe on really helps and, and having the team to support you through it really helps as well. I try and pick people who have similar beliefs, similar personalities, but balance out my weaknesses. One of the key things that I had to learn on my own were the non-business aspects of being an entrepreneur, so really dealing with the personal pressures and balancing out your non-work life. I think the toughest learning for me has been realising uh, that startups and entrepreneurship takes a lot of energy and a lot of sacrifice. I really appreciated some of the emotional intelligence work that we did with Dev Academy. Every day I have to make sure I do something that makes the day feel worthwhile. You have to love what you're doing. It has to be that thing that gets you out of bed in the hard days. Have faith in yourself and your abilities and your idea. Approach people who can help you because they are out there. They might just be slightly difficult to find. Um, and don't keep talking about it, do something towards it. My one piece of advice for another young entrepreneur wanting to pursue their passions would be to expand your definition of what success is. Create new benchmarks of success so that that can filter out through communities. I think people mistake success for being successful. And those are two quite different concepts. If someone says no to me, I'll go away. But I usually come back with a slightly different question. As long as you've learned something, you've, been, you've had some success. So when we talk about the fear of failure in the startup ecosystem, we're actually talking about the fear of learning. Mm -hmm.